Welcome to another episode of Riding and Wrenching. I am your host, Q the Writer. And in today's episode, I'm going to talk about Apple CarPlay and my 2022 Harley Davidson Street Glide. Now, what I'm going to show you today also applies to the Road Glide, the Road Glide Special, as well as the Street Glide Special. So, this is a pretty neat update, and all you have to do is use one of the dongles that you've probably already seen or heard people talking about online. I'm going to include a link in the description of this video where you can buy your own on Amazon. And if you choose to use my affiliate link, uh, I will get a small commission and I appreciate the support. It will not cost you an extra dime to buy the dongle through my affiliate link. So please consider doing that to support the channel. So Apple CarPlay, how does it work? Well, all you do is plug your phone up from the USB cable on the bike into your lightning connector on your iPhone and this is what you get. It works pretty well. Now, so there are some functionality things that are different than uh, CarPlay in your car. One of them being that you will not have access to Siri using uh, this setup because there's no microphone here. Now you can use uh, a Cardo Pack Talk because that's what I have. I've connected my Cardo Pack Talk to my phone. It's not connected to the bike so you don't get an opportunity to listen to your terrestrial radio or your AM FM radio and there's just basically no communication between the bike and Cardo Pack Talk. There's communication between your phone and Cardo Pack Talk. So that means that you can listen to podcasts, you can listen to music, you can answer phone calls, you can also listen to your text messages, you just can't compose them. I'm going to keep experimenting with that and I hope to find a workaround, but as of right now, I haven't been able to compose a text message using the Cardo Pack Talk while it's connected to um, Apple Maps on the bike. Another key difference is the navigation. Now, once you're using the navigation, your, your instructions will come through the bike speakers. They will not come through your headset, okay? Now, if you're an Apple user, you recognize that's probably an advantage because you get your turn-by-turn -turn instructions out of the bike speakers, and I turn the volume all the way up on the bike. Meanwhile, I can continue listening uninterrupted to my podcast, to my audiobook, or to my music without the turn left or turn right, second light, go left or whatever. You don't get any interruption. Your podcast continues to play. I actually prefer that. And that's the key thing that you lose audio-wise. You're not gonna have your navigation come through. You're not gonna have your AM FM radio and you can't compose text messages. That's what you lose. And also you can't ask Siri any questions. A Couple of other things about this particular setup that I've learned is this is actually a really small screen you know compared to what i have in my car so that can be an, a little bit annoying sometimes and it's particularly challenging while you're riding a bike to have so many small options and you're trying to maybe hit the uh, audiobook or the phone icon or something like that it can be a little bit more difficult to do while you're riding having one hand on your on the handlebars and trying to hit the exact spot on the screen. That can be a little bit challenging. It's distracting. It's probably not really safe. But what does work are the thumb controls. This is actually pretty cool because you can go through the list and pick what you want and just hit the button. Now you still have to take your eyes off the road so it can be a little bit distracting. So you have to be really careful. And if you're gonna use this setup, I encourage you to practice with it a little bit before you get out on the road so you're not trying to figure it out while you're moving. Another minor annoyance that I found is because I'm connected to my USB on the bike, I have to leave this silly little door open here. That, that's a minor annoyance. Uh, but if you get stuck in the rain, you're gonna have to figure it out because uh, I've had problems getting my phone soaked uh, while I'm, I'm riding in the rain. But I'm also one of those dudes who, don't, who typically don't use a case on my phone, so that, that's on me. Now with this particular setup, there's a couple of models that or there's a model that won't work, and that's a CVO. If you have a CVO, this isn't gonna work. If you had the wireless headset interface module, the WIM unit from Harley installed, had your radio flash, it's not gonna work. Actually, I think you already have CarPlay if you go that route. But this route is a lot cheaper. That dongle only cost you about 12 or 13 bucks. They're really cheap, and this has to be the easiest upgrade I've ever done to my bike. So I think I've covered everything. Uh, the installation is pretty simple. All you're gonna do is remove your fairing, It'll give you access to the back of the radio. You'll see a plug on the back of the radio. I believe it's white. 
there's a rubber plug inside of there. You pull that rubber plug out, insert the dongle, reattach your fairing, and you're in business. And again, it all functions very well, just like you would have inside your car or with any other CarPlay setup. Works really, really good. The next thing I'm gonna share with you is what I have coming up this weekend. I am gonna be traveling to Knoxville on Friday, which I believe is the 9th, this coming Friday. So I'm going to volunteer audio because I'm gonna install Apple CarPlay on my 2018 Road Glide, which is not possible unless you get the Soundstream head unit. So I'm really excited about this. We're gonna have some really cool content coming down the pipeline. I'm gonna compare the Soundstream head unit to the stock Harley Boom system. I'm gonna tell you which is better. We're gonna use it in bright daylight. I'm gonna put it through the paces and I'm gonna share all of that with you. It's, it's really gonna be cool. I'm excited about some of the great content that we're gonna have. But I'm gonna be installing that unit myself. All right, so make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified and hit the notification bell so you can, you can find out when that content hits the air. All right, that's all I have for today. This is Q, I'm riding, I'm wrenching, and I am out.